This is Owen McKendry for ESPR Boxing. Delighted to be joined in Manchester by Junaid Bostan. Junaid, you weren't originally supposed to be here. It was a short notice call up. How did the call up come about? I was meant to fight on the 30th due to unforeseen reasons. You can do the maths. I couldn't. Go, I couldn't be on that show. So. I got offered this show and uh, yeah, things worked out. I'm delighted to be on it. I've always wanted to fight in Manchester since a kid. As a professional, um, I've, I've spent a lot of days here through the school holidays, weekends and stuff like that. So I know a lot of people around these sides and yeah, I'm delighted over, what's it called? Well, I announced it just over a week ago. I've sold over 100 tickets. I think touching 150, so I've got a good reception. I'm looking forward to doing the number on him come Saturday. You're fighting, obviously, a relatively unknown fighter to most boxing fans, but he does seem like a, a tough, durable opponent, a bit of a puncher. Is that what you need at this stage of your career? Someone that's going to come forward, someone that's going to try and, and stop you? I mean, really, I needed a camp. I needed a camp. So I've been, I've been shortchanged off that, but I got offered that name, I took it in front of me. I don't want no guy who's just going to sit there and sit down, do you know what I mean? Uh, He's not necessarily the best technically, however, he can punch out of his nine wins. He's got eight stoppages, do you know what I mean? So he can clearly pop a bit. So I've just got to be on my P's and Q's, be switched on, and I'm sure the rest will deal with it. Does it almost help yourself? Obviously, you said you would have preferred a camp. It was in April, I believe it was. You, put, uh, you beat Jack Martin. Jack Martin coming off the back of knocking CJ Challenger out in a fight that Barry Jones said is possibly the best fight he's ever seen live. Do you think that'll help you coming into this fight? Because obviously, Jack Martin, again, isn't the best technically. He's always up for a war. He wants to go in and just scrap, really. So do you think that preparation will help you coming into this opponent? Of course. I mean, I'm ready regardless. But Jack Martin's a very, very tough bloke and a nice bloke at that. We've had a few messages since then. Um, yeah, and God willing, I hope he's well and his family are well. And how fast do you expect to be sort of fighting for titles? Obviously, I remember speaking to you a couple of years ago at the start of your career. Um, Eddie Hearn saying, you know, obviously you now got the Starboy nickname. It was a case of we might have to push this boy through the ranks at a, a ridiculously fast pace so how quickly can we expect you to be fighting for titles I mean I'm moving rather quickly as we speak do you know what I mean I'm, I'm 22 I'm, I think I'm 6th or 7th in box rec um, I'm moving rather quick I am what's the word now I'm mandatory for the English I've already got a title but we're talking proper titles you get what I'm saying um, God will not have the bridge by the end of next year that's, that's, that's my that's my ambition and then moving on to, to your gym, and obviously in Sheffield, Leon Cameron out in Saudi. Uh, I personally thought he won that fight. What did you make of the decision? Because obviously everyone watching at home was completely confused. What did, how did you feel you had that fight? It was short change of a win. That was his look like. He deserved the win. Five rounds were cut. Well, five rounds were done. I had him winning four off the five. I had him losing the first. The second one close, so at worst you'd call it 3-2 Liam, 4-1 Liam, that's how I had it, so I believe he won. It's a bit of a sweet moment because he's got the attention, he's got a deal, but he got robbed of a win, in my opinion, so yeah. Do you almost feel like, as you say, obviously he did get shortchanged, but do you almost feel like he did come out of it a winner still on the fact Frank Warren snapped him up so quickly? Yeah, but if I were Liam I'd be fuming that I didn't win. So it's like I said, it's bittersweet, do you know what I mean? So I think there should be a rematch going forward. Whether it happens or not, I don't know. I do believe that's the correct, the right fight for the pair of them. And then with Dalton Smith, obviously Adam Azim with a great win over O'Hara Davis at the weekend. I've listened to a few of O'Hara, um, Adam Azim's post-fight interviews saying he wasn't the reason that Dalton Smith fight never happened. He was on Sky Sports saying he's now mandatory for the IBO. It's vacant, he wants it. Um, and he said he would still fight Dalton Smith. Do you believe that Adam Azim, not necessarily himself, but do you believe his team are avoiding the Dalton Smith fight at this stage? It's, it's not Adam. Adam will fight anyone. I know Adam. Adam will fight anyone. Um, and I'm not even saying his team are wrong for not taking the Dalton fight. Dalton, Adam's the same age as me. He's 22. Do you know what I mean? He's only young and he's only going to get better and progressively stronger and things of that nature. So I'm not even saying they're wrong, but of course, like it, it, it's not, it may not be Adam, but it's, it's his team. And I'm not saying it's even the incorrect thing to do so, but like I said before, things happen and um, yeah, it is what it is. And obviously, I know I heard in a previous interview you said you'd been out in Saudi previously for Usyk Fury. Uh, that press conference was last night. That fight's in December. Do you see repeat or revenge? I don't know, you know. Ideally, we'd like to see Fury win. 
I don't know. As long as see Fiore and AJ, that'd be a good, that's the fight I want to see. But yeah, of course you always want the Brit to win. But as, as, as I say that, Uzik is a good guy, do you know what I mean? So it'll be a good fight. Janae Bostan, good luck on Saturday and thank you so much. Thank you very much.